Okay, in this video demonstration, um, I'm going to show you how you can use this cable connection tester to test your production cable like this type. Okay, it, it can be cable harness that you done and you want to test whether if the connection is done properly or not. In this example, I'm, use, I'm using a standard commercial cable just to show you how to test it so yeah it can be any sort of cables um, with different connectors yeah so basically this cable connection tester can be operating in uh, standalone mode or with a mobile phone or with a desktop computer so the cable tester itself uses this sort of connectors where it allows you to connect in any sorts of wiring in order to test the various um, cable connectors that you may have. Okay, so this, this cable connection tester is a universal tester for any sort of cables. So for this example, okay, for example, let's say I want to test this um, DB db9 connectors what i can do is i can um, let me move away these connectors i can use these connectors and make a mating a mating adapters so that it can allows me to connect to this uh, test cable okay so by using this terminal block, screw terminal block. So I have prepared on hand one end for this, for this, the mating connector for this, using two of these terminal blocks. Okay, the other end is um, for this example is this um, RJ45 8PHC socket. So what I have here is a custom adapter. So for those who have regular cable on a test and you want to custom make one of this, you can also. So instead of doing this screw terminal, what we can do is we can design a board specially for your special connectors. Okay, in this example, we, we, are, we, are, we have this RJ45. So I just use our standard uh, adapter to, to do it instead of using this screw terminal. There's two ways of, of doing it. So, okay. So this can be plugged here to do the testing. Okay, so let me put everything aside. So in this example, we'll be testing this um, DB9 to RJ45 connectors. Okay. So this is the cable tester itself. Okay. Um, let me power up this cable tester from this mobile phone. So, uh, okay. Okay, you can see the cable tester powering up. The green blinking LED indicates that it is in the operating mode. Okay. So right here, we have this sound button where you can choose whether you want to hear the pip sound or you want silent. So this is silent. This is with sound, okay. Auto start is a feature whereby you do not need to start press the start test button in order to test the cable. This is this is for uh, production testing where you have a lot of cables and um, by doing auto start, it will save you time to have yourself clicking this start button. You will just every time you connect the cable, it will do a test already. So it's like automatic. So you can choose to turn it on okay there's actually two mode this is slow meaning it it gives you more time to do the connection while you're doing the testing if you press it another time the blinking is faster indicate is um the test is the testing will be faster meaning um if you don't want to wait you just want to connect and have it tested faster so two two mode slow and fast so uh, for simplicity, we do not, we will not be using this auto start in this demonstration. 
So this is the start test button where when you press it, it will this cable connection tester will start to test your cables. Okay. And right at the end right side, there's a small button called learn. This learn button is for you to learn any new master cables. So it, it, it will be your working cables that you have tested is working and you want um uh, you want to rec uh to learn to record what a good cable looks like. So you can this button is for that. So okay now we have it power up. Now let's do the setup. Okay. Now I'm setting up the mating connectors for my um db9 connector okay so this one is female so the mating one is the male side the male side i have cut and connected each end to this terminal block so this becomes my test adapter so the good thing about this tester is you can connect and or uh, any of the wire to any of this this 64 port here okay so i'm connecting this db9 adapter to to this uh, column b and c okay okay one done so the other side i'm using this special custom made adapter okay this can be your own connector uh, which is converted to this terminal block connector on a pcb board so the good thing about this is it is Neater. Unlike this one, there's more cables here. So this is another option if you do have a regular cable connector that you want to test, you might consider having this adapter custom made. It may be helping you to test your cable faster. So um, for this example, I will plug to column D, E and F. in here okay now i have uh, both adapter set up correctly so now this is my test the cable that i want to test so before we even start testing we have to learn what this cable connection is okay this this tester has to learn the connection so to learn it what we can do is we plug in to the mating connectors Okay, assuming this is a good working cable. Okay. So of course we have um so once you set up ready, press and hold this learn button. Okay. Press and hold it until it gives off a double pit sound. That indicates that um the cable is learned by this cable connection tester. So let me let me do it now. So press and hold learn button. Just hold it. Okay. Yeah, now this indicates that it is learned. So my cable is learned. So when the system learns the cable and I press the start test button, it gives the pass indicator, meaning that this cable is okay. Okay, so for for example, if I disconnected it and I press the test button, it won't it will fail. Okay, so this indicate that something wrong with the uh, your cable. It could be, it could be some disconnected wiring or miswiring. So, so it will be display on this uh, tester itself. So let let's assume that I take this one, this master cable off, and now I bring back with a production cable that I want to test. Okay, I want to test whether is it the same as that master cable that I learned just now. So what I simply do is I plug one end here, the other end to this. So the wire or the wiring point will be connected to any one of the 64 points. So the tester doesn't care where you plug in. As long as you plug in in all, it will just learn the connection and test all the connection. So now I'm going to do a test. To test the cable, I just press start test. Okay, it indicated a pass, meaning that 
this cable um, is the same connection as what it is remembering it in this tester itself. So this is how you test the cable. Okay, now let us go to the app side. So for example, okay, this thing can be connected to a phone for power. It can also help to display a report for your cables. So this helps us to diagnose, maybe we can understand what is the wiring connection for a new set of unknown cable that you have. Or maybe if there is, you detected some problem on this cable itself, that report will show where exactly the, um, which point the cable goes from. So let me go to the app itself. So this app I have is the, um, is the serial USB terminal app on Android phone. So this can, um, there's a link on our website. You can go there and download this app into your phone. It's free. So let's enter in. Okay. So when you enter in and you plug in this cable tester to the mobile app phone, there will be a, a message pop up. Let me do it now. So you can see. Okay, I connected it back again. Okay, there's a message pop up saying that uh, a serial USB device is connected. So I just click OK to have it connected. So you can see a message here. Uh, USB device detected. USB device detected. So there is a connection button here where we connect the app to the device serial communication. So press this button. Yeah, now it says connect. Okay, so there is a there's there are commands that can you can send from the app to the device. All these are documented on the website itself. So in this app, I set up a key escape key. 